this series of videos I'm attempting to repair this CCI PDP-8 clone and so far what I found is that almost every single regulator in the power supply had failed so don't know what's uh, going on with it it does look uh, fairly ominous I don't really hold out a lot of hope for getting this working but we'll carry on and see how far we can get I have repaired all the regulators so I'm going to try and power this up now uh, when I tried to power this up the front panel was completely dead there were no lights on it uh, whatsoever so I'll get this powered up and uh, see what happens okay well as you can see we've got a single LED on here but no activity whatsoever so doesn't appear to be doing anything uh, I'm going to power it back off. I don't want to leave it on too long. We'll check the supplies now and see if the regulators are now working. Okay, it's powered up, um, but the fans aren't running, so I need to um, be as quick as I can when doing this testing. So I want to now test all the supply rails. So 5 volts, that's fine. 5 volts again. 5 volts. 5 5 5 and okay. ok that should be minus 15 volts so there's obviously something wrong with that one and 5 there so looks like we've got a 15 volt rail missing so I need to power it off before it overheats unfortunately you probably can't see much in here it is a bit dark this is not my usual filming location but um, what we have on the left hand side down here are the th back of the three regulator boards and you've got the three floating supplies that's uh, down there in the rack and they feed power into these regulators and it appears that all the regulators are working apart from the minus 15 volt um, rail. Now the minus 15 volts on most machines like this is used to power the core memory which sits over here so um, obviously very close to where the uh, minus 15 volt um, power connection is so um, most likely this is a protection mechanism to protect the core memory if any other faults are detected so what I'm going to do first is just to make sure that this um, regulator hasn't failed again I'm going to take the card out we'll go back up to the workshop retest it and make sure it's okay and then try and figure out what's going on I've got the board back on the bench and uh, we'll test it again. Uh, you can see I've replaced the uh, two pass transistors in the minus 15 volt regulator. So again this is a triple regulator board. We've got minus 5 volts, plus 5 volts and minus 15 volts. And the minus 15 volts is uh, an 8 amp supply. So quite a beefy supply but um, uh, I have tested this already. I've replaced the transistors but we'll test it again just to make sure it's still working. So we'll turn on the internal regulator, we'll turn on the actual supply and as you can see we're getting 15 volts. Now it's saying plus 15 volts but the way um, this is configured the DC input to this is fed from a floating DC supply, that's the bottom of the three uh, major supplies in the rack and the positive output from this regulator is connected to the 0 volt rail in the machine. So effectively it's giving us a, a minus 15 volt rail uh, but it is a positive regulator if that makes sense so I've got this set to 2.4 ohms we'll turn this on and that's giving us 6 amps you hear the fan on the supply coming on so about 90 watts it's putting out nice stable uh, supply so that's still working fine it hasn't failed again and uh, what I'll do now is, while we've got the board on the bench, I'll just test the other two supplies as well. I just need to adjust the input to make sure we don't uh, overdrive them. So I'll get uh, the next one connected. The connections are the same for all three. So we've got the first of the 5 volt regulators connected. I've adjusted the supplies for the 14 volt internal regulator supply and the 10 volt for the main regulator supply so we'll turn that on you can see we're getting 5 volts on the electronic load we'll turn this on 
and that's working fine as well so that's still okay I'll just swap over the connections to the last of the three regulators okay and we'll turn that on as well and once again we're getting 5 volts we'll turn on the load and it's working fine under load and so it looks like the regulators themselves are working fine so the question is why are we not getting the minus 15 volt supply now if we look a bit more closely at this board it becomes a bit clearer as to what's going on so the minus 5 and plus 5 off this board were present but not the minus 15 volt rail but if we look more closely we can see there's another transistor up here it's an identical circuit apart from the addition of this transistor and if we trace this through there's a couple of resistors here so kind of divider chain from the main output from this but if we trace it back through you can see the track disappearing here um, but more importantly on the back there is this trace um, here and it goes from the resistor driving that transistor and it goes all the way and it's on the fourth connector up on the back side of the D um, slot so uh, when you look at this it's connected through a resistor to the base of this transistor and the way this transistor is configured it allows this supply to be shut down so it looks like there's probably something shutting down the supply now it's not that surprising if you're familiar with the PDP range of uh, computers you'll know that the power supplies have the ability to shut themselves down if there's a fault detected and also uh, especially with core memory systems there's a need to protect the core memory if there's a fault somewhere else in the system so most likely there is some form of monitoring this uh, machine that is uh, keeping the minus 15 volt switched off for some reason or it's detected a fault and is turning it off so we'll go and put this back in the machine and see if we can figure out uh, why that 15 volt rail is being shut down I've refitted the card into the rack we know that the minus 15 volt regulator is actually working but that it now has a or we now know that it has a shutdown uh, input I've got a torch here that hopefully is going to allow you to see a bit more clearly hopefully it won't blind you um, but there's a wire here a wire wrap wire uh, which is connected to that particular pin that control pin on the uh, regulator board and it snakes down here and it goes to the fourth connector up on the left hand side which is the uh, back side of the board and it's the next board along from the regulator boards so we'll pull that board out see what it is see what it's supposed to do and uh, try and figure out uh, why it's shutting down the minus 15 volt supply so looking at the front of the card rack we have the three regulator boards the third one from the right is the one in question this is the one that has the minus 15 volt regulator on it and the next board along that that line that control line goes to if we look it's in slot 32 and luckily on here there's a key at the bottom that says what each of these cards does and if we look at the card that should be in slot 32 it's identified as terminal board power fail which kind of makes sense it sounds like it's a power fail monitor so we'll pull this card out and see what's on it and see if we can try and figure out what's going on okay so if we pull this card out as I feared a lot of corrosion on this board and the connection in question is the fourth one up you're probably not going to be able to see this it's the fourth one up it goes through here just going to try and trace it I can see through the board you probably can't see through but I can see the traces on the back side of the board and it goes through to this transistor so chances are that this is just part of a power fail detect circuit but what I've noticed here is there's text on here and it says power low disk um, temp high disk and power high disk so it looks like this board may also be monitoring the disk drives which obviously aren't here so it may be that this system will not run unless all the uh, components are plugged in um, this is a bit unfortunate also I can't read any of the part numbers on the ICs they've all 
kind of disappeared over time. So I've got no idea what any of these devices are. So as I said, I don't hold out a lot of hope for getting this working. Without any technical information, it might be extremely difficult getting this going. Um, if anyone out there has any information on these old machines, then uh, please uh, let me know. Um, this isn't my machine, by the way. I'm looking at it for somebody else, but uh, uh, I don't really want to start having to reverse engineer uh, all this um, stuff around here. And this is where uh, it looks like we've got an initial problem. It could be the fault is somewhere else. What I'm going to do next is uh, refit this board. And I'm just going to go through and adjust the voltages on all the voltage regulators. It might just be as simple as um, this is uh, not happy with the, the voltages coming out of some of them because we have replaced almost every pass transistor. So I'll go through, I'll adjust all the voltages, make sure they're all correct and see if this uh, continues to cause an issue. I adjusted all the regulator voltages uh, apart from the minus 15 because it's not switched on of course um, but I don't think it can be that that's stopping it from um, a successful startup because it would have to turn it on to be able to monitor it so I don't think that would stop the power fail card from uh, doing anything at least initially. Um, and all I've done is connect the multimeter to the test points. There's two test points, a ground and a, a voltage out for each regulator. I've been through all of them, uh, nine in total, apart from, uh, of course, the minus 15, and uh, adjusted them all. They're all fairly close, but now they're all spot on five volts. And uh, what I'm going to do now, it didn't make any difference. I tried powering it up, and it still did the same thing. Um, so I pulled the... Um, power fail card. It's just um, pulled out far enough to not be connected to the back plane. And I want to see if this makes any difference. If it is the power fail card stopping the system from booting up, then it should make some difference. I suspect it still won't run, but because uh, it will need signals from this to run properly. And uh, it's got the real time clock, for example, which I believe will be responsible for generating the interrupts to drive the system. Um, but uh, we'll pull this card, see what happens. I'll move the camera around to the front of the machine and power this back up. I've dimmed the lights, so hopefully you can see a bit of what's going on. Uh, still no seven segment displays, but pulling that card has restored the minus 15 volts. So all the rails are now present. And if we try pressing a few buttons, I think some of these buttons are sticking. They don't appear to be making breaking contact uh, the way they should. You can see we are getting some activity now on the front panel, whereas before we were getting nothing at all. I don't think it's running properly. I think um, this is just kind of a, um, a halfway house to it running. But it does, uh, on occasion, respond to key presses. So I power cycled it, and you can see that we've now got the link light on as well as the fetch light. And so if you press a few keys, you can see there is some activity on the front panel, just not a lot. So it's, it's also not working, but... So I've powered it off. I didn't want to leave it running too long without the fans going. And you won't be able to hear me if I turn them on. They are quite loud. So it looks like the next obstacle to overcome with this is to deal with the um, power fail card. Uh, I might not be able to do much with it. I can't read any of the... Uh, or very few of the part numbers on the IC, so I don't know what they are. I um, don't really want to spend weeks or months trying to reverse engineer that card. If you do have any technical information on this machine or the cards, I'm sure the owner would greatly appreciate uh, any information you can provide. Um, it looks like it might be repairable with the right information, but uh, I'm not uh, holding out uh, too much hope. When you get a machine where almost every power regulator has failed, it does tend to indicate there might be significant damage on the, uh, the, the various cards. Um, it is smelling fairly hot, but that's because, as I say, the fans aren't going, so I don't want to run it uh, any longer than I have already. And um, I'll discuss uh, with the owner what he wants to do, and we'll go from there.